Hello, welcome back to the house. Um, here we are, still staying at home. We'll see how long this is gonna go. You probably could notice I'm sitting in a, in a rocking chair. You, I, can you see it kind of there? This is, this is a rocking chair that my great grandma had on my dad's side. It was my dad's mom's mom and got into the family. It's not really worth a lot and it's kind of getting old and everything, but uh, you know, it's kind of a valuable possession in that sense because it has a uh, history value uh, possessions uh, Jesus talks to us about the value of possessions uh, and how we see those and how much we treasure those and, and he teaches us that they can actually be in conflict with the things that God wants for us and especially can they be a hindrance to eliminating worry here in Matthew chapter 6, in the Sermon on the Mount, just listen, he says, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, where thieves break in and steal. No, store up for yourself treasures in heavenly, um, where moth and rust do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And he says, the eye is the lamp of the body. And if your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But if your eye is unhealthy, your whole body is full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? No one can be loyal servants to two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot faithfully serve both God and money. Jesus is trying to lead us into something here. He's just talked to us about relationship instead of religion. Don't just do religion for religion. The religious acts are to move us into a relationship. And so once we move into that relationship with God, Jesus believes we begin to see a different value system, if you will. And in that value system moves us further away. God's value system moves us further away from anxieties and worries. That's why after just reading what I read, he says, therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you eat, what you wear. So possessions are very important. Jesus says, wherever your treasures are, that's where your heart will be, your loyalty, your devotion, your commitment. You'll be giving yourself to that. And of course, we all want to believe that our heart is in the right place. I mean, we talk about Jesus and God all the time. Surely our heart is there. But we can't ask where our heart is. We have to ask where our treasure is. And Jesus says, this is so vital in the way that we see this, the way that we understand this. If we put the value on the things of this world above the things of God, then it's going to be darkness for us. And to live in darkness is the greatest place of anxiety that you can think of, to be in the dark. So Jesus is trying to move us into the light and get us to recognize that, that you, can't, you can't move into both worlds and think you're loyal to both. We, we want to believe that. You know, no, no, wait a minute. I, 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 I want, I, I want to serve God, and but, but, but I want money, and so it can be such a conflict. How, how do we know about this? Well, maybe we can ask ourselves: When times are tough, what do I turn to? How do I know where my treasure is? Where do I put my time, my energy, my money? But okay, we can put it toward the things of God. But when it really gets tough. How do I start thinking? Do I think when everything around me is going and, and, it, and it looks pretty scary of, of, of financially what it's going to look like, kind of like now? Do I begin to think about getting or giving? Getting or giving. It's an indicator of where my treasure is. Because our treasure are the things that we value and we value them because they bring us security, safety, assurance, those kind of things. And so if I think about getting instead of giving, I'm indicating my security comes from having 
these things. Stop money. But if I can move into the idea of giving, we're all in this together, and i got to find ways to help in any way that I can, then I am seeing the value of community in the things of God in the kingdom. My safety, my security is in God. And so my loyalty will be in what God has said to do when things are tough. And that is help others. Be involved in the solutions. Not to run and hide or get away and just try to get more and more and more. Why? Because Jesus is trying to eliminate us of worry and anxiety. But when, but when we have our treasure in this stuff that's around us, then we're living in darkness. Because, Jesus says, that stuff isn't going to last. And we get worried that it's going to go. And we get anxious that we won't have it. And it's tough. But Jesus is trying to help us see a greater light that we can trust God. And he's going to go on and talk to us about that. And, and we need to spend time after he says, therefore, do not worry about your life. But we have to ask ourselves, how am I seeing this? What do I really, really, really believe is the valuable thing that will give me the most security and safety? Is it God? And the, the way that he says do things in this world? Or is it money? And all that money can buy and all the stuff we can have. Is that where we find our security and our safety? And asking God to do is open our eyes so that we can live in the light of the reality. And in that light, we find peace and not anxiety.